Well, it's water, only water, but many believe it has extraordinary healing power. Tonight, we find our Tar Heel traveler in Chatham County. Scott Mason takes us to Mount Vernon Springs near Siler City. In the western part of Chatham County, off the road toward the woods is water, perhaps miraculous healing water. Two pipes, two streams. So one is for health, one is for beauty. Yes, they came from every state here to, to drink the water. And still do. Do you feel different when you drink it? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I feel better after I drink it. I feel more energetic, more, more alert, more alive. This is Mount Vernon Springs, circa 1837. We're about four or five miles south of Siler City down old 421. Gallbladder, liver, kidney. Bobby the cat, who'd been on the verge of death due to kidney failure until he drank the water. The next day he was on his feet and... The next day he was running around and it's been five years and he's still alive. My back is pain. He believes the water has cured his back. One week ago, you come and drink every day this water. My back no pain no more. Do you drink the water? I do. I do. I have a gallbladder issue right now and I've drunk about four cups this morning. <laughs> Are you feeling better? I am actually. <laughs> George Washington. He had a cousin named John who supposedly heard about the water. He was impressed with, I think he built a house here, and they changed the name of the place to Mount Vernon after George Washington's home. Years later came John Monroe Faust, who was given six months to live and who drank the water. And had a miraculous improvement. And who then built a hotel by the springs. They had a bowling alley, dance hall. They would stay for months sometimes at a time. They used to uh, bottle about 500 gallons of water a day here and ship it out by train. So this place must have been kind of bustling back then. I think it was a pretty hot spot. The hotel closed during the Depression, the 1930s. It was about 100 yards up the bridge here. The bridge is all that's left and the water. I guess years down the road, they put the pipes in, and then, of course, the county had to come pour the concrete so no one would get hurt. <laughs> they never went dry, and I've never seen them go dry during any drought. Scientists have studied the water, the twin springs. They're different. They're, they're not the same. They're not identical in their mineral content. One for health, one for beauty. Is there any taste to the water? It just tastes really clear and cold. Mount Vernon Springs, near Siler City. Everybody drink the water, my family. The water, the perhaps miraculous water. All right, I need to hit up Scott Mason and see if he got me a bottle. The land is privately owned, but signs invite the public to come drink some of that water.